Hey guys, how are you doing today? It's the Dizzy One here, back again, once again, and we're starting this video off with a bang, throwing it down on top of the greatest dunker of all time, Fatality. Vince Carter. You know better than to jump. It's game over. That was pretty much <laughs> the highlight of game two. We end up blowing out the Raptors and getting the victory. Poor Vince. That's no way to treat a legend, but it had to be done. Man, that was one of the craziest dunks I've ever seen my player do in 2K. But it's time to move on. We gotta go to game three. Taking on Toronto at home in the Scotia Bank Arena. Trying to get a victory to make it three to zero. You already know that it'll be big if we can come away with a dub because no one's ever come back from a 3-0 deficit. As we set the screen for Kobe Bean, he pulls up for three and it is money. We are on fire to start off the game and Dwight Howard sending a message to Mark Gasol that it's not safe no matter where you are. What a rejection. Get that out of here. Dwayne Wade, though, doesn't care who's inside the paint. This time, he throws it down on top of Tom Chambers. What a play from Dwayne Wade. He's been the one constant for Toronto, making everybody look silly. Dwight Howard really wanted to get that swat. But Dwayne Wade knew what to do. He knew the intentions of Dwight, and he passed it off for the bucket. But Kobe again just knocking down shot after shot after shot. Dwayne Wade pulling up on Zerbo, and it's a foul on me. My player picks up a foul as Dwayne Wade gets the three-point play the hard way. Superman is unveiling his true potential right now. Vince Carter didn't like being made a fool in the second game of this series, and he pulls up and knocks it down. They're in the lead right now, taking it to us, trying to make us work for this dub. Chris Paul decides to just hold off on that shot, gives it to Zerbo on the wing, answering back on Vince Carter right there. Now the honest truth is you can never really count out Toronto because they do have the firepower to get back in this game. We end up finding Chris Paul and Chris Paul finds a cutting Dwight Howard with a twirling slam dunk and we tie this game. Zerbo's wide open in the corner. It's only for two, but we take the lead off of that. And Toronto has to be scratching their head right now because they know that 3-0 is basically a guaranteed death sentence. They try to throw it up for their big man, but Kobe was there to see the pass. Chris Paul with the bucket, and the lead continues to grow. It's slow and steady, but it is happening. What a screen from Dwight, and man... That bucket just looks smooth. Zerbo, my player, with the three. Now, so far in this game, it's been about the big boys. Zerbo missing the shot, and here's one of the biggest. Yao Ming coming up clutch with that putback, getting positioning, and now Dwayne Wade has to make something happen. They're going down big. Dwayne Wade trying to help his team out in any way he can. He pulls up from three, cuts the lead, down to six, six seconds left in the game. Baron Davis handling, has to make a decision, but Vince Carter comes up with a steal, pulls up and redeems himself from that horrible poster in game two. Coming up clutch with a halftime buzzer beater and it's a three point game to start. The second half, Tracy McGrady now getting involved. What a basket, it's a tie game. 49-48, we did take the lead rather quickly and Zerbo cutting to the rim. Perfect placement on the pass by Chris Paul and this is a battle. It's a struggle right now. This time he decides not to lob it and it's a turnover. Tracy McGrady finding his rhythm, pulling up, splash, count on that man. Every single time he has the ball, it is money. Dwayne Wade now, what a speedster, putting on the moves. Change of pace, it ties the game. This one has been a battle. The story of this one again, guys. No matter what the perimeter offense is doing, whatever they're scoring, however much it is. Here's another one by Chris. Splash. 
But anyways, anyways, <laughs> whatever they're doing, you gotta keep in mind that there's a lot of things that I don't put in this video just to keep the story flowing a little bit. The big guys on Toronto this game have played amazing. I put some of their highlights in there to give them a little bit more credit, but I mean, that's the biggest difference right now and why we're not pulling away like normal. Their big guys are scoring. They're making plays on defense. They're grabbing the rebounds, which we normally dominate, and it's a lot closer because of that. It's still a tie game right now. Baron Davis stepping away. What a basket. As the third quarter comes to a close, this is a big shot for Tracy McGrady. If he makes this, they take the lead on top of Kobe Bryant. The defense was there, but Tracy just didn't see it. And he knocked it down. Baron Davis doesn't want to get outdone. And he gives the lead right back to Charlotte. That's going to end the quarter no matter how hard Toronto fights. No matter how hard the Raptors try to get the victory. Charlotte is just closing the door. Who do they turn to to get this victory? It doesn't look like it's possible. Kobe Bryant. Now with a tough basket, it's in 78 to 72. What do you do? They give it to Zerbo. Charlotte is just a little bit too late. Man, this game is crazy. 81 to 72. Dwayne Wade now has the ball. They put up the fight of their lives, but this game is getting out of hand and Tracy couldn't knock it down but Vince Carter still trying to redeem himself after that horrible dunk I, I don't think I'm gonna forget about that this series was won on that dunk in game two that was just humilifying humilifying is that even a word humiliating oh my goodness I can't even talk right now but this game is coming to a close and all of a sudden Toronto just imploded and Zerbo adding emphasis to this victory spices thrown on top of the cooking dish and it is good at least for charlotte here's another shot the game is over they put up a fight and it's looking like toronto will get knocked out in four games but you never know 89 to 80 the final score this honestly was the closest game of the series. Dwayne Wade and Tracy did their part. Vince tried to come up with some magic. He did some, but it wasn't enough. See you next time.